Being raised on a Vermont farm fostered in Dave Gilman a desire to help farmers, which he did by pursuing a college degree at Utah State University focused on soils and meteorology. After graduation, Gilman mapped soils for the Soil Conservation Service in Vermont, then served as a soil scientist with the U.S. Forest Service in Idaho for 20 years. In this August 2003 interview, Gilman summarized the consequences for soil that result from cattle grazing in the American West. Undisturbed soil in a natural condition is a very friable, permeable, uh, natural resource material. And a soil that developed in place where you've got ample organic accumulation and decomposition builds up a very fertile, productive soil. Uh, and oftentimes I've related to people that a good uh, condition of the soil would be when it's like a jar of marbles. The soil can have a crumb structure, but it also allows the water to infiltrate into the soil profile. And also, it's a good medium to exchange the soil gases also. When you have this type of condition, you have ample water. The root development of the plants is ideal because the roots are able to expand and develop and they can take up the water that they need for their purposes. And the soil is a, it's a beautiful thing. It, uh, it's a good relationship with a plant because that is a basic supporting of the plant. But when you have weight impacting on the soil from livestock, particularly if it's concentrated livestock, year after year in the same, same area, your soil will become compacted. And a good mental idea of that is when the soil becomes compacted, it becomes platy in the upper levels, of, in the upper six to eight inches of the soil. Um, and then instead of a crumb structure, it changes to a platy structure. Uh, an example of that would be like a deck of cards laying down on the, on the table. This becomes an impervious layer to the downward movement of water, to the development of plant roots, you shut off the exchange of gases in the soil and it almost seals it off. So anytime you have a high intensity rain, instead of the soil soaking up the water like the sponge, it just runs off the soil surface like a parking lot. So what little friable soil or loose soil you have on the surface is eroded away. Um, and then this erosion uh, causes plant pedestaling, whereas the only soil that's held is that held by the roots of the plants. And so you get these root or these little plants sticking up above the soil surface. And this is called sheet erosion. And uh, so this is an indication that your soil is, has lost its infiltration capacity. Uh, this excess erosion reduces the uh, potential productivity of the soil. It also runs into our drainage ways and creates problem with water quality. And then of course that can get involved with the fish spawning because it suffocates the eggs. Uh, and so it just compounds a lot of things when the soil does not stay in place. Also another factor is that the vegetation has been removed by the livestock. And so the vegetation is basically the only protection that the, ho the soil has from raindrop impact or flowing water in a stream channel. And when the vegetation has been removed, the soil is vulnerable to rapid erosion. And that's why we have a lot of this plant pedestaling, and this is why we have a lot of our gullies developing and getting larger in our, in our present day watersheds.